Okay, everyone, so we have a new experiment that we're going to be setting up. It is called the rock salt experiment. Okay, so we're going to start out here. We're going to go over this slide. What types of condensation are there? Clouds, fog, rain, dew, snow, and frost are different forms of condensation. Remember that condensation is um, water that has come back together and condensed um, back to a liquid form. So after evaporation, there's water vapor in the air, and then it slows down, and the water molecules, um, they come back together and turn into a liquid into liquid water or into a liquid state. So we observed what happens when water vapor touches a cold surface when we watched the condensation water demonstration that I did the other day. So that was with the blue ice water and then the green room temperature water. And we, we observed how the water vapor on the outside that was in the air, when it touched that cold surface on the outside, the water vapor condensed and became liquid water again. So the question for today is, what do you think would happen if we created an even colder surface for water to condense on? And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to create an experiment with a colder surface and, obser and observe our results after letting it sit for 10, 15 minutes. So before we set that up, I'm going to go through the slideshow. Um, so obviously step one is to gather the science bag in that science bag. Um, remember there's no evaporation placement anymore, but you should be able to find your tall glass, the rock salt, um, and so make sure you still have that science bag. Okay, so you're watching the video, uh, which is obviously this slide here, and then we're going to gather these materials. So here's my rock salt. You need to get a spoon from your home, so go grab a spoon or something to stir with. You need some ice from your home, so if you don't have any ice made, make sure you make some ice and then you can come back and work on this experiment. And you need that tall cup that we've been working with, not the small one like the rock salt size, but the tall one. Okay. So obviously slide five is where after you set up your experiment, um, like right away, like right after you set it up, you're going to take a picture of it and you're going to post it here to show evidence that you have actually set up your experiment. So don't wait. Don't wait 10, 15 minutes and take a picture. Do it first because you have to take a second picture today. All right, then you're going to come to this slide and you're going to make a prediction in the red. So make a prediction here on what you think is going to happen after 10, 15 minutes. Okay, later, after 10, 15 minutes, after you do what you need to do with your experiment, you're going to write your observations. What do you see? What did you notice? Um, what's there? Okay, so that's what's going on there. After that, so this is after checking your experiment after 10, 15 minutes and after you've done what you needed to do with it, you're going to take a second picture and you're going to post it here because it will look different. You should be taking a picture of what you notice um, in the cup, on the outside of the cup. That's your hint. So here's the thing. You have to wait 10, 15 minutes. I wouldn't suggest sitting there and staring at your experiment for 10, 15 minutes you actually have a reading assignment to do today. So again, on slide eight, it says, complete the reading about condensation and then answer the review questions at the end. Um, remember, I provided a link where you can go and actually, um, if you remember, you can go and actually look at the book. You have to enable flash um if you need to and then you can go down to section 18 for condensation um and then you can read the book here or it will read it to you so remember i went over that the other day or you could just read the following slides there are more slides today for the reading just because there's a lot of pictures so while you're waiting for your experiment to um, do what it's supposed to do for 10-15 minutes you can complete the reading assignment to keep you busy so that's on slides 9 through 16 and then you have questions to answer on slide 17 yes you need to do all of this this is not come back tomorrow and do um, the questions so this is all due in the same assignment
Okay, so let's read the directions today. Now, that's what you're going to do. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to show you the experiment. Okay, so here's my materials. So we have our tall cup, we have our ice, a spoon, and the rock salt. Okay, so um, I actually took ice from my freezer and it was actually in like cubes. So, but I just, you know, you might want to ask your parent. You can make crushed ice. Some of you might already have crushed ice or maybe you have a refrigerator that makes crushed ice for you. I just put some ice in a Ziploc bag and I took um, like one of my meat, like tenderizers <laughs> and I just kind of crushed it but you might want to ask a parent before you go in and start like pounding out um, ice so maybe they can do that for you but it does work I mean it'll work even if you don't crush up the ice but crushed ice just seems to work a little bit better with this experiment um, so I'm just gonna fill this in I'm, I don't need to use my spoon for that that's for something else I'm just gonna fill it in with ice just fill it up, maybe about like three quarters of the way. Okay, great. Now I have my rock salt. All right, I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to use all of my rock salt. I'm just gonna pour it in, just put it on top and the spoon is to actually like mix it up. So I'm just gonna put it all in here and I'm gonna try to mix it up. You know, I kind of filled up mine with a lot of ice, maybe use a little bit less ice but just see if you can kind of mix it up. And then, literally, just gonna let that sit for 10, 15 minutes. Um, I'm not gonna make you watch mine sit for 10, 15 minutes. So instead, it should start doing something. I don't know, you can actually, if you look at it right now, it's kind of hard, maybe, if, I don't know. It's kind of hard right now, but something is already happening on the outside of mine. But after 10, 15 minutes, you'll start to notice something else on the outside. You can use your spoon. I don't want to give it all away. I want you guys to have some discovery and exploration yourself. But um, check it out. And you can use your spoon on the outside. You might see something. If you do the reading, you're going to figure out exactly what's happening. So again, remember, you let that sit. You can go back over here, do the reading, answer the questions, and then come back and look at your experiment. You'll take a new picture of it and put it here because it will look different on the outside. Try to take a picture of the outside. And then you'll make your observations here. So basically guys, what you need to do is fill out slide five, slide six, slide seven, and slide 17. All right, I can't wait to see what your results were.